Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I wanted to talk about what you might hear from backslidden Christians that they used arguments they used to justify their sins. So some people will say, oh, I'm a good person. I will go to heaven. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not causing, causing anybody harm. But these people say that while, con like, while willingly continuing to live in sin. But remember, if you're not, you, yes, you might not be directly causing other people harm. You might not be hurting anybody. But remember, every time you sin, it's like you're crucifying Jesus Christ on the cross all over again. So you might not be hurting others, but every time you defy your flesh, you're adding to God's pains, you're adding to God's burden. So you might not ha have hurt your family members, but you've definitely hurt God by your sins. So be careful when you say you will go to heaven because you've not hurt anybody. That's not how salvation works. And your good works can't earn you salvation. Salvation is received through God's grace. So it's the grace of God that you were saved. It's not because of your works that you should boast about it. The good works you do on earth, yes, you should continue doing those good works. And those good good works will earn you rewards in heaven. But they will definitely not earn you salvation. So if you don't make it to heaven and on judgment day, you can't tell Jesus, Wait a minute, Jesus, I've done this, I've done that. Why am I not in heaven? Jesus will say, Wait a minute, yes, you've done those things, but have you accepted my... Have you accepted me as your Lord and Savior? Have you accepted my sacrifice on the cross for you? Salvation comes comes through God's grace. And you got to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You got to ask for forgiveness of your sins. And you got to turn away from those sins. So be careful if you say you're a good person and you'll go to heaven. Remember the Bible tells us there are no good people. We all have fallen short of God's glory and we all have sinned and only God is good. So, really examine your sins. Are you remember? You don't have to fornicate to commit adultery. Just looking at a woman with lust, that Jesus said, that's already committing adultery in your heart. So, just by looking at porn, you're committing adultery. So, be careful when you do that. You should not be doing that. That's living in sin. Okay? And also, some people will say, uh, God will let me in heaven because compared to Adolf Hitler, I'm a saint. First of all, Adolf Hitler is not God's standard. Look at what God's standard of an upright person is. Adolf Hitler definitely is not that. Okay? So you can't compare your, yourself to the world and say you're a saint. Because that would just be wrong. And God does not change. Just because society, the more the, the more society falls into sin and the crazier things get, God does not change. God is the same today and He was the same 2,000 years ago. Okay? So you can't say, oh, um, society accepts homosexuality, so by me being a homosexual, I'm not doing anything wrong. You might not be doing anything wrong in your eyes, but in God's eyes that you're doing something wrong, definitely. Well, you think there were no homosexuals 2,000 years ago? Of course there were. Of course there were. So don't compare yourself to Adolf Hitler. Compare yourself to God's standard. Are you living in sin? Are you committing adultery in your heart? Are you telling lies? By lies, some people will say, Oh, that's an innocent lie. It, it hasn't hurt anybody. But the Bible says all liars have a place in the lake of fire. So if you're saying innocent lies, quote-unquote, or if you're saying lies that hurt anybody, don't lie. Okay? Don't lie. Even like minor lies, like... Your parents ask you, where'd you go? And you make up some random lie. Yes, that lie might not hurt anybody, but it's, at the end of the day, it's still a lie. So don't be dishonest. And if you're going to lie, it's better that you might not say anything at all. Like, you know, you know, if you know you're doing something wrong and your parents say, where have you been? It's better for you to just, like, not say anything quietly. Just take the punishment and sit there. Instead of lying. Because when you lie, you're falling into sin. And you're crucifying Jesus Christ on the cross all over again. So, we are not good people. We all we all are, are sinners. We need a Savior. We need to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We need to ask for forgiveness for our sins. And we need to turn away from our sins. So, don't think that you, by not hurting anybody, you're going to make it to heaven. Because that's not how salvation works. You can't get yourself into heaven. Your money will not get in, yourself into heaven. You might not hurt other people, but you're hurting your body. And by doing that, you're defiling your temple and you're adding to God's pains and burdens. 
So be careful when you say, I have not hurt anybody, I'm not an evil person compared to Adolf Hitler, I'm a saint. Because Adolf Hitler is not God's standards, okay? God's standard is God's standards, God's standard is God's standard, and it never changes. 2,000 years ago to today, it does not change, okay? Even if society changes, God does not change, and don't let society corrupt you. Don't let society corrupt you. So examine your sins, turn away from your sins, and if there's a sin you're struggling with, at, struggling with, ask God to give you the strength you need to overcome that sin. I've had sins that I was struggling with and I couldn't conquer them on my own. God gave me the strength after I prayed for it to conquer these things, and it's through His, it's through His, it's through the, through, it's through His blessings that I've, I've overcome these sins. So I can't, I can't boast about it. I can't say, look, I've overcome this sin. It's not. It's not because of what I have done, it's because God gave me the strength to do those things. So also in the description box of this mess in the description box of this video, I have a message about the end times, the rapture, the tribulation, the second coming of Christ. So if you have not warned people already, if you're gonna use that message, if you're gonna use another message, whatever it's gonna take, just warn people that have not been warned yet, okay? We need to warn people about the rapture. And um, all glory to God, thank you for listening.